Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. It is an honor to have you here. Um, if you do like this video, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. So today I just want to talk about the basics of the Freestyle Libre system. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth uh, video as well, but I just wanted to talk about like what are the basics of Freestyle Libre just to kind of get you started. Um, so the Freestyle Libre system comes with a reader, a sensor, and an application device. So the sensor is a, the thing you actually wear on your body. It has a microfilament that will uh, sample your interstitial fluid and continuously sample uh, blood glucose throughout the day, kind of giving you a um, more information about how your blood glucose is throughout the day. You don't have to uh, just do these spot tests where you uh, prick your finger with the lancet and you you know squeeze the blood out and then you'll, you'll get a blood sugar reading. This will tell you for better or for worse um, kind of what your glucose is throughout the day you wear it 24 hours a day and one sensor is good for a 10 day period um, so uh, obviously since this is a, a diabetes um, supplies um, there's some way to extract lots of money from you and basically it's through the sensor because the sensor has kind of a planned obsolescence it lasts about 10 days and then you have to throw it away much like um, iPhone models or something like that or light bulbs um, it just expires and you got to get a new one. You can't wear it all the time. It won't last you a year or something like that. Um, the, the price for the sensor is about $40. The, the reader um, is, the reader is um, about $75. And um, so the first step to applying the sensor is to select an area on the back of the arm. So uh, you don't want to use any other sites. Um, they're not really approved and you might not get the right uh, blood glucose reading. So they use the back of the arm um, and you want to pick an area that's kind of free of scars, moles, stretch marks, lumps, um, any insulin injection sites and um, you want to rotate. And you generally want to select an area that doesn't, that kind of stays flat during normal activities. Um, so you clean the site with, uh, with an alcohol wipe and you want to let it dry or it might not stick properly. Second step is to peel the lid completely off the sensor pack and then screw the cap from the applicator. Uh, the fourth step is to use is to press the applicator um, into the sensor pack and you want to make sure that the the dark marks on the sensor and the applicator are lined up and you um, on a hard service you press down firmly on sensor applicator until it comes to a stop and you hear an audible click you lift the sensor applicator out of the pack and the sensor applicator is ready so there's a little needle in there, just, just, so just be um, cognizant of that. Um, you place the sensor applicator over the site and you push down firmly and the uh, sensor will adhere to your skin. Gently pull off the applicator and then you just make sure that the sensor is, uh, is secure to your skin, um, gently pressing the adhesive into your skin and uh, until the uh, sensor and your skin are merged into one. So there is a process to starting a new sensor. Um, you press the home button to turn on the reader. Uh, there's, a, there's a little icon that says start a new sensor. You hold the reader within 1.5 inches of the sensor to scan it. Um, and then the sensor needs about 12 hours to um, get going and during that 12 hour startup you would do finger sticks uh, as normal and you can use precision neo uh, test strips and actually work with that reader that comes with the freestyle libre so in order to check your uh, blood glucose um, you would press the home button hold it within uh, you would hold it within uh, 
one to four centimeters of that um, sensor can go through your skin and you should get a, a reading automatically. Uh, the reader will show a, uh, that, a one-time reading and it will also show kind of a, an eight hour trend or an eight hour graph where you can see how you've been doing in the last eight hours. And there will also be a trend arrow which will show whether it's going up or down. Um, from that uh, screen you can tap the pencil and you can make a note um, based on the, your insulin or based on um, the food that you've been eating. And then when you're done, uh, you hit OK and it'll save. So I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.